Inside Lockheed Martin's new flying space station, Star Lab. Voyager Space and Lockheed Martin, in collaboration with NanoRacks, have decided to form a team to develop a new commercial flying space station. This space station is known as Star Lab. Let's take a look inside the Lockheed Martin flying space station in this video. Stay tuned to find out more. The Star Lab space station is known to be a crude commercial platform. This space station is dedicated to creating intensive and critical research. It has also been fostering industrial activity. It even ensures that the United States of America has strong leadership and presence in the low orbit of planet Earth. As of today, by the year 2027, the Star Lab spaceship is expected to achieve its first commercial operational capability. Before we get further into the video, let's learn a little bit about the companies and industries working for the Star Lab space station. Lockheed Martin is a company that has its headquarters in Bethesda, Maryland. Lockheed Martin is a global aerospace and security company employing approximately 114,000 people worldwide and is primarily engaged in the research, design, development, manufacture, integration, and maintenance of systems, products, and services of advanced technology. Nanorax, a spacecraft for traveling, is the commercial service provider of the world's main commercial area. Nanorax owns and manages private equipment on the International Space Station and launched more than 1,300 research experiments. As of recent times, Nanorax has been seen drawing on its series of experiences to develop new commercial space systems as per the customer needs. These space systems include the conversion of the upper stages of the commercial launcher into functional secondary platforms. The industrial leaders of the economy have decided to develop the Star Lab space station in such a way that it meets all the demands of the U.S. government and the International Space Agency. These developments will further help to grow the space economy and meet all the customer demands for space services, which include plant growth, research materials, and astronaut activities. These industrial companies aim to build an unparalleled experience in technology innovation, engineering performance, investment strategy, and commercial space utilization. From the beginning of time, Nanorax has always wanted to own and operate a personal private space station to unlock the market demand. The building of the space station took years of research to build. They learned about the business of space stations, invested in private hardware, understanding customer needs, and charting market growth. Nanorax has been working with NASA and other industrial companies all across the world to ensure that the Star Lab space station is a success. NASA has recently released a project named Commercial Low Earth Orbit, or LEO, destination CLD, to support private space stations in their development. The main aim is to provide science and crew capabilities before the International Space Station retires. To understand the practical parts of the private space station, let's take a look at their management. The primary holder of the Star Lab development is Nanorax. It's considered to be the pathfinder and global leader in the commercial development of international space stations, while Voyager Space is considered to be the majority shareholder in Nanorax. It is said to lead capital investment and strategy. Finally, we have Lockheed Martin, which is a leader in operating and developing complex spacecraft. The main role of Lockheed Martin is to be the manufacturer and technology integrator. Now that we know and understand the overview of the Lockheed Martin Flying Space Station, let's take a look at what's available inside this flying space station. The Star Lab Space Station is made up of basic elements of a space station. These elements include a huge inflatable habitat, a propulsion system, a power system, a metallic docking node, a large robotic arm, and a state-of-the-art laboratory system. The large robotic arm is used for servicing payloads and cargo whereas the state-of-the-art laboratory system will be used to host extensive and comprehensive science, research, and manufacturing capabilities. These elements have mainly been manufactured by Lockheed Martin. Star Labs will have the ability to host up to four astronauts continuously to conduct critical research in science. Lockheed Martin is considered to be one of the most innovative and capable companies that allow leveraging its core strengths. Lockheed Martin has extensive knowledge and experience in building complex spacecraft systems. In collaboration with Nanorax and Voyager, Lockheed Martin has been able to create a customer-focused space station that will benefit them towards the end. The company is focused on habitat technology that helps investors and designers to create cost-effective and mission-driven strategy designs for Star Labs. Nanorax has created a business model for Star Labs in a way that enables research, science, and even the manufacturing of global customers. The model even helps to bring value to the sovereign astronaut missions. 
Apart from this, Starlab Space Station is said to serve tourism. It will even serve business activities and other commercial activities. Voyager space is noticeably assured with inside the Starlab Enterprise version and its capacity to be commercially sustainable and properly capitalized. Voyager space sees many synergies in leveraging the operational operations capabilities of the corporate organization, as well as within the Lockheed Martin ecosystem. The company can consider this partnership as the beginning of their collaboration. Well, we've now come to the end of the video. Let us know your insights and thoughts about the Starlab space station. We'll see you in the next video. Until then, goodbye.